I am Anil Kumar. Here is another excellent question from one of our subscriber, Gurmeen. I hope the solution of this question will help many others. We need to solve this radical equation 2 equals to square root of 3b minus 2 minus square root of 10 minus b. Now to solve such equations, it's a good idea to bring or to take only one square root on one side. So we'll kind of uh, rewrite this equation. Equation given to us is square root of 3b minus 2 minus square root of 10 minus b. So I'll rewrite bringing the second term to the left side. So it becomes 2 plus square root of 10 minus b equal to square root of 3b minus 2. Now at this stage, we need to get rid of the square root, so we'll square both sides. So when you square both sides, we get 2 plus square root of 10 minus b whole square equals to square root of 3b minus 2 whole square. You can expand this using a plus b whole square. So you get 2 square, which is 4, plus 2ab, which is 4 times square root of 10 minus b, plus square of 10 minus b square root, which gives you 10 minus b. On the right side, you get 3b minus 2. Remember one thing, that whenever we square, we actually incorporate errors. right? So we need to check for extraneous roots in our solution. Now let's again isolate the radical part, take all others on the right side. So we have 4 square root of 10 minus b. On the right side, we have 3b minus 2. Taking these terms on the right, we get minus 4 minus 10 plus b, right? So that gives you 4 square root of 10 minus b. 3b plus b is 4b. Here we have all these minus terms add to minus 16. Well, we can divide by 4. So we get square root of 10 minus b equal to b minus 4. Now again, we have to square so that we can find the value of b. So once we square both sides, again we square both sides. Right? So when you square both sides, what do you get? You get square root of 10 minus b whole square equals to b minus 4 whole square. Let's rewrite on the right side. Squaring will give us 10 minus b equals 2. And if you square this, you get b square minus 2ab, which is 8b, plus 4 square, which is 16. Now, let's take all the terms on the right side. We get a quadratic equation, b square minus 8b. So we can write plus b, we have plus 16 and minus 10. So we get b square minus 7b, and that gives us plus 6. Now this can be factored, product 6 adding up to minus 7. That means b minus 6 times b minus 1 could work. So b equals to 6 or b equals to 1 could be our solution. Now, we need to check for extraneous roots. Since squaring b makes negative things positive, right? So let's check. So we'll substitute b equals to 6 in our equation. So if I write square root of 3 times 6 minus 2 minus square root of 10 minus 6, what do I get? That is square root of 18 minus 2, which is square root of 16, and here we get 4. So that is 16 is 4 minus 2 is indeed 2, which is left side, correct? So this is perfectly fine. So, so b equals to 6 is definitely the right solution. Now, let us also substitute b equals to 1. So square root of 3 minus 2 minus 10 minus b. b is 1 minus 1, correct? 
So that gives us square root of 1 minus square root of 10 minus 1 is 9. So, so that gives us 1 minus 3 as minus 2. We are looking for plus 2, right? So that is not correct. So the only solution for the given equation is b equals to 6. Is that clear, right? So that is how we will be solving such equation. And it's very important to understand that this step which we take, squaring numbers, makes negative things positive, right? So negative 2 was made positive. That's why you got the answer 1 also, which is not valid, correct? So the only solution for the given equation is b equals to 6. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Any radical equation of this form could be solved using this method. But remember to check your answer at the end. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.